Now, here's Joy Reid expressing a degree of passion that would be appropriate if we were talking about civil rights leaders that had that air of dignity, even if they were flawed men. I'm talking specifically about, say, Martin Luther King or Malcolm X, who actually did lay down their lives for what they believed in, likely, plausibly, almost certainly murdered by the deep state because they are truly willing to be martyred. They are truly willing to live for and therefore die for their principles. When you see Joy Reid talking here about like the sort of potential problems of a Trump presidency, I feel like what do you, what does that party represent to you? What do you think has been happening for the last four years? Forget the last four years, the last 30 years. What do you think happened under Obama or Clinton? Where are these, like what kind of Pyrrhic victories or sort of shreds of success are being held aloft as fetishes here because as far as I can see, we've been being steered into globalist authoritarianism for a significant period of time now. And the events that define the modern era, the fall of the Berlin Wall, the 9-11 attacks, the 2008 financial collapse, have all significantly increased centralised, unelected power, increased the power of the deep state, have increased wealth transfer and inequality. We're not living in the legacy of Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, or pick your hero. The dark side won. The system found a way of eliminating heroes. So I sort of appreciate and accept Joy Reid's passion, but she is passionate for something that is not worthy of that. Have a look at this. I no longer care. Doesn't matter to me anymore. It's above me now. It's above me now. There's a Waffle House next door. There's a Best Western next door as well. It's above me now. It's above Joe Biden now. Don't care about Joe Biden's age, infirmity, that he shuffled when he walked. I don't care. He could be seated for the rest of from now to Election Day and never get up off a chair. He could sit down. He could roll around in a, in a wheelchair. He could be on a skateboard, seated. I don't care. I would actually prefer that just visually to see someone roll around on a skateboard would make me think, well, if you can't make democracy effective, at least you're making it amusing. Donald John Trump cannot be allowed back into the White House because if you combine that madman with this court, you put him in the White House, combined with this court and a Republican House and Senate, we're done, y'all. All the rights that were won in the 20th century, the hard-earned rights of women, uh, laborers, workers, the rights of, of ch children. Remember, child labor used to be legal. This is an odd position to have adopted, and were it a valid one, the passion would be warranted. But that's not how I see the last century of democracy. I see it as a kind of negotiation to maintain the maximum amount of power, to utilise technology, to create the appearance of democracy or representative electoral systems, if you're Republican and prefer that terminology, all the while centralising and amassing wealth and creating conditions of conflict among the population. The trends that truly matter, the likelihood of a global war, the increasing likelihood of crisis being, if not implemented, then being exploited to legitimise further authoritarianism. The peculiar strata of ultra wealthy individuals and institutions is all taking place within consecutive while alternating administrations. Bush, Obama, Clinton, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. And I would offer the same thing uh, to all of you, those of you who love Donald Trump. You love him because of his style. You will point to the fact that there were no wars during his administration. And some of you like his sort of... Um, gangster style and we got a good example of that with his al-qaeda negotiations coming up but the kind of fervor that joy reed feels i feel it too like that the world could change it could be so beautiful here and anyone who's had a brush with that kind of experience where you sense that the material world is a veil across something deep and you can see that as esoteric and you can see it as fanciful but what else is love other than the knowledge that we are deeply connected to one another. What else is self-sacrifice other than the awareness that there is something more important than ourselves? It's so peculiar, and I acknowledge that I fall prey to it, to see this solipsistic, narcissistic, inward collapsing black hole of individualism consuming all before it, as if we 
we are discussing something truly apocalyptic here and as if that apocalypse is represented somehow between these two poles of these two individuals, these two parties, these entrenched institutions. Where will the revolution come from? Where will the real change come from as we sit on the eve of numerous elections? Who among us truly believes that this is anything other than a spectacle, a simulacrum, a fractal reiteration of an idea that would have worked once in some cursive ink on parchment long, long ago. What we're living in now is not those ideals, Joy. Not those ideals at all. The rights of black folks, forget that. The rights of non-white immigrants, forget that. All of the 20th, they are trying to they are trying to repeal the entire 20th century and they're doing it fast. We are going to repeal the 20th century. We've got this DeLorean. Now, as long as the flux capacitors working correctly, we could be... Oh no, it's the Iranians. Well, you shouldn't have provoked them. Between them and these crazy Republican governors, they are repealing the American century, the 20th century, because they don't like it and they want back the 19th century. The century when super rich white men unchecked and untaxed amassed great wealth passed it down with no taxation to their descendants and pretended that they had earned it on their own no no because the wealth transfer during the pandemic period the extraordinary accumulation of wealth and power and dominion across the world the rise of globalism we are squabbling in a swamp we could avert our eyes at any moment we could look upward extraordinarily there is something in this dynamic that she described that is taking place, but it isn't taking place in that bandwidth. That they were just masters of the universe. They want that era back. They think that the 20th century was an abomination and they are dismantling it. They're coming for every single one of our rights. They're not done. Y'all better vote for your lives in November. I'm gone. Y'all be good. And God, good luck and God bless. For real, for real. Well, it was uh, nice seeing you. Thank you very much for popping around. Do come again. It's, it's been enjoyable. Not entirely sure what the point of it was, but uh, nevertheless, good luck with your endeavours. Hey, this is exciting. We've got a great partner today. It's Rumble. But beyond Rumble, it's Rumble's latest venture. Let me ask you first, are you a Sleepy Joe type character with zero cognitive performance, struggling to muster focus and brain power for basic things like running the United States of America? You've got to stop dreaming drinking woke liberal coffee that hates you and your way of life and start your day by drinking Rumble's very own 1775 coffee. This is going to be the best tasting coffee you've ever had. Seriously good, ethically sourced from a family farm in the high altitude mountains of Bolivia. Not in the Bolivian lowlands run not by a family but by a single man still living with a pet. No! Instead of waking up and drinking your big corporation owned woke ideology coffee that's probably making you sick from the pesticides it's sprayed with try rumbles 1775 revolutionary coffee support freedom of speech build a parallel economy that actually values you and loves you my favorite it's dark of course i've always found the lure of the dark irresistible i'm sorry how can i stay mad at you but you're just gonna have to wait over there for a little while level up your morning routine with a 1775 coffee sleep all night knowing your hard-earned dollary dues are going towards supporting freedom loving creators like me on rumble visit 1775coffee.com now pick up your first bag use the code brand to save 10 percent on your first order oh come on why choose you know okay back to the content hey, if you're ready- Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more uncensored content where free speech can flourish, join our live stream. Click the link right here to watch the next video if you want to, or become a member of a growing movement. Download the Rumble app and you'll be informed every time we make a new piece of content. Stay free.